The first Sonic movie was a surprise hit. Is Sonic 2 just as good or does it fall into the same bad video game movie trope? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Mediavania, the channel where we talk about all things pop culture. My name is Marty. I'm Matt. I'm Nick. And gentlemen, all of us over the past weekend got to go see the second, the sequel Sonic 2, let's just say it like that. <laughs> and uh, we haven't had a chance to talk about this movie. We um, so we thought we'd get a good chance to share us like, what are our thoughts about Sonic 2? Now, first, I will say, um, I like Sonic 1. I enjoyed the movie. I was, I was, was pleasantly great. surprised at Sonic 1. Yeah, super, super rapid Sonic 1 review. I thought it was super great. Like, um, especially, we got to say, you know, it deserved people to go see it because they changed the way Sonic looked. If you remember if their original trailer for Sonic, um, Sonic looked so terrible. <laughs> like, <laughs> like nightmares. So yeah. My kids would have had nightmares. That's what <laughs> it they was really, like. really bad. But to their credit, they took that feedback and mm -hmm. they changed Sonic's look to look more in line with his animated look in the video game and in cartoons, you know, or, you know, the CG shows and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's I, I think you got to go see it and it was very good I, I think it turned out really really well yeah we watched the first one with zero expectations like none because you know we've all been burned by video game movies that we've been excited about in the past like outside of maybe the first Mortal Kombat movie being okay like not <laughs> not a garbage fire right like Sonic sure. was legitimately like a fun enjoyable solid movie yep. and that what you know blew me away at the time yeah I was the same way so I went and saw it in the theater our whole family went mainly for the, the support I wanted to give the developers who said, we're going to redo this and delay it. I thought, okay, I was one of the ones that complained. I should put my money where my mouth is and at least <laughs> go and see it and was pleasantly exactly. surprised. Exactly. And so Sonic 2 comes out, which is basically uh, following right on the tails <laughs> of oh, Sonic you. 1. <laughs> We got to shut it down. We can't. We can't even follow <laughs> that up. Are you kidding me? Right on the tails of, you know, and that's after Sonic One, the post credit scene. A little spoiler. Mm -hmm. if you haven't seen Sonic One, but go see Sonic One. Um, the post credit scenes of Sonic One shows Tails, and Tails comes out to go give um, Sonic a message, and we were like so excited. We could not wait. Um, you know, as far as like, oh, we're gonna get to see Tails in the new movie. And I think they did Tails perfectly. Like, absolutely amazing version of Tails and Sonic in this. I, I think they actually used the same voice voice actress for they, the shows in the game, right? They did. They absolutely did. Yep. Yeah. Well, not not Sonic himself. Not Sonic. No, Sonic is no, the but the Tails voice okay. actress is the yeah. same. Um, so it, by the way, this will well. be a spoiler free review. So if you're watching, don't worry. We will not give away any of the main there's really not much to give away, but we still won't talk <laughs> no, about it. No, there's not. We won't. Um we 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 won't we'll keep away from spoilers on this. Uh except for Sonic One, which I just spoiled. So yeah, right. it, it, exactly. <laughs> except, Although we should we should mention there is a post credit teaser in Sonic 2, so stick around. Yeah, there is a and mid credit it's, scene. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's really yeah. great. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So let's just go around the horn. Matt, what, do you thought, what are your thoughts on Sonic 2 overall? So I took my son, Andy, who is eight, who is a big Sonic fan. He loves the mainly the 3D games. OK, so the original Sonic games, mainly for me, you know, he has played the 2D ones. Uh, but, you know, I took Andy. He couldn't wait. He was very excited for this. And he came out of it saying it was the best movie he has ever seen. And uh, <laughs> nice. while it's not my favorite movie of all time yet. It was very good. Uh, I thought Jim Carrey was awesome again. Uh, maybe a little more over the top this time than last time. But he has said in interviews that he wants to be closer to the video game, as close as possible to the video game. As like he wants the fat suit, he wants to be in the big red suit. Um, you know, but that's been you know if he's retiring, if he's even going to come back, I don't, I don't know. But Jim Carrey was great. The supporting cast was great. Um, I guess if I did have a knock, and this is going to be like, you know an old guy reviewing Sonic 2 here. Um, I did think the human element was just like a little cringeworthy at times and cheesy, right? Like Cyclops was like, okay, <laughs> I don't remember his, his real name, the guy that played Cyclops in the X-Men no, movies. Marston. Um, yeah. And uh, and his- James Marston. James, James Marston and, and his girlfriend Marston. and wife. Like the two of them, I mean, they move the story along. I do think her sister was really funny. Um, mm -hmm. I think she's a great character. She was a really good character in the first one. But like, ultimately, this movie was about Sonic and Tails and Knuckles 
and Robotnik, you know, like, which is mm -hmm. what it should be. Um, however, when it veered away from that at times to get to the human stuff, I was kind of like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but that that's just me outside of that. I really enjoyed the action, the, the comedy, the relationship between Sonic and Tails is literally one of my favorite things of the whole movie. The two of them together, like really did make me get a little misty eyed at, at times, uh, just because their relationship in the games was really special. And, and in the movies, Sonic is always looking for a friend. And this is like the perfect friend to come in, you know, and help him out. So I, I was really emotionally attached to it throughout. thought it was super great. Um, how about you, Nick? Where, where are you at on, on yeah. Sonic 2? So ever since we all saw the first movie, my kids have asked me basically every week when Sonic 2 is coming out. So I've been <laughs> yeah, dealing yeah. with that. I've been dealing with that every week until finally this <laughs> finally. week. I'm like, I bought tickets to Sonic 2 this week and let's go. Yeah, um, let's go. And they they loved it. Uh, the twins were a little older. Um, they actually don't have much of a connection to the game because honestly, the last few Sonic games have not been great. Mm -hmm. uh, they only knew so they only know Sonic through like other games like Smash Brothers mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. Minecraft, right? But Andy loves Sonic have... Forces. Sonic Forces was actually okay. really fun. We have yeah, that but... one, and the 3D ones is really good. Like he likes some of the 3D ones. So, but the kids yeah, have watched uh, the cartoon. I think Sonic X, right? So they're familiar okay. with all the characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they loved it. They really enjoyed it. Like they came out cheering, and they won. They, they were ready to go at the credits. But I'm like, no, 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 hold on. And then during that mid credit scene, they they, they lost their minds. Uh, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. It's sort of Andy. Andy lost his mind. Yeah. Like, honestly, I, I again with no spoilers. I didn't know what to expect. Um, and I thought it was going one way, and it went another way. Uh, I'll, we'll talk after. Uh, but yeah. but stay for the credits. It's really really cool. Yeah. And yeah, and, and my wife, who has no connection to the franchise whatsoever, other than seeing the first one, you know, she 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 tolerated. Like she enjoyed it. Like it was okay. For yeah. her, and I think um, so. Th even for someone who has no connection to the franchise whatsoever, you know, she didn't fall asleep through the movie. She didn't get bored. You know, she, it was entertaining. Mm -hmm. And Marty, what you think? Yeah. So, yeah. so for me, uh, I I really enjoyed it too. I enjoyed it as much as the first one. It's and I'm with you, uh, Matt. When Sonic and the Sonic characters were on the screen, it was great. It was the second act where you got a lot of the human element, and it's kind of like you know the past couple Godzilla movies when totally. the yeah. monsters are on the screen. It's amazing when the humans are on the screen. It's like, can we go back and see the monsters? <laughs> yeah, you're uh, exactly right. Yeah. And, and without any, film what, too. yeah. And without spoiling anything, there's actually stuff that happens in act two with the humans. That's never referenced again. It's just like, why was that part even in there? Because it almost has no part of the story whatsoever. And my, that, my only my negative thing was my wife said the same thing. This runtime for this movie is over two hours, which I think is mm -hmm. kind of crazy for a video yeah. game movie. Mm -hmm. I think Act 2 and the human stuff could have been shortened by 15, 20 minutes. It would have been spot on perfect. Yeah. But like I said, it was magical when the Sonic characters on the screen, the relationships were great. Jim Carrey, I think they told Jim Carrey, hey, if you're going to retire – Go out, baby. If you want to, if you want to throw references to all your previous characters, I mean, just go out and be yourself. And, he and Jim did. Carrey was great in this. It's and, so and, good to see him back. Amazing. And Idris Elba was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, as Knuckles. Was great. Did you know that he actually wanted to do a higher pitched voice? Like he didn't want this low pitched, what we are used to a Knuckles voice. He he had like a different idea, but they veered him. I'm glad they veered him. Yeah, <laughs> towards was, more because it was a perfect. Uh, he really was was a great Knuckles. His um, voice is so iconic too. Like I can't it really imagine changing is. it that much. It was great, and it went. You know, man, so good. The, but you know, I, and I thought the you know a little. This isn't a spoiler. It's a little bit about the story. There is a wedding in this, and this is in the trailers. Mm -hmm. And they did this thing at the beginning of the movie where they're you know. The, the the humans are going off to a wedding and i really thought at the beginning of the movie i was like oh good just get the humans out of here like go <laughs> have an adventure <laughs> like this is a great but no the wedding like comes into the story quite significantly at some point and uh you know i was like oh okay all right well th this is why you know <laughs> they're gonna keep them in here and and you know they they do have a a part in the story but the real stars of the movie is sonic and tails and, and knuckles and even you know who i liked loved is is robotnik's uh you know, a little coffee partner there. I no, think he's, isn't. he's played really well. And I think he's funny. Um, I kind of wish they almost even gave him more screen time. I feel like he was kind of hidden a lot, you know, in light of knuckles, you know, cause Robotnik went around with knuckles a lot in this movie, but I do like his little coffee assistant. I, I don't know. I, I get a kick out of him. Yeah. So, uh, as we start wrapping up, so yeah. I mean, literally right now, 
it, it's the best video game franchise movie series of all time, right? I mean, yeah, what's yeah. it competing against? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a lot of competition, you know. I mean, like 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 Nick said, it doesn't it, not a whole lot. But what would you rate it? Let's let's rate this thing out of ten. Um, let's start with Nick. Out of ten, what do you give it? Uh, it wasn't quite as good as the first one, but this is still like a pretty solid seven out of ten for me. Like thoroughly enjoyable. Okay. Yeah. And how about Marty? Yeah. Uh, seven. And if Two the seven. stuff that I had said earlier hadn't have been there a little bit short, it'd been an eight. Yeah. yeah, I see. I know I liked it a little bit more than the first one. I'd give it an eight. Um, I would probably give the first one a seven. And again, for a video game movie, I think that's really good. And eight is 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 really great, um, especially for, you know, again, the reputation of video game movies. If if other video game franchises are planning on doing um, you know, feature films, they really need to look at, you know, the feedback that the crew that made Sonic, you know. And understand that this is the kind of things that the fans want. They want, yep. you know, just mm -hmm. characters that they're familiar with um, that are done well. I got to give a lot of props to the voice actor of Sonic, though, because I think he's really funny. And yeah, I think he gives, yeah, he's a, yeah, yeah, he gives Sonic a lot of, um, you know, a lot of life. And I think he's perfect for this uh, franchise. And I hope that we get to see everyone back for a third one. Now, Jim Carrey did go on record saying he's retiring. Um, however, he would come back if the script is right. And they have said that Robotnik will not be in the next one if Jim Carrey does not want to be act again, right? This again, this isn't spoiler. This is just about his personal preference as far as are they going to continue with the character if Jim Carrey is retired? And I hope that I hope that he comes back. I think that we could see him again. I, I hope so, too. But we're kind of fortunate right now as we kind of wrap up. I will say that the uh, two Sonic movies and to be honest with you, I think Detective Pikachu was also a Detective pretty Pikachu solid was that was very good uh, that one video was game movie. Good. So we're getting some decent ones. So like you said, Matt, uh, if you're getting ready to make a video game movie, you've got three case studies right now to look at to see what kind of makes it work and yeah. just go from there. For sure. This guy, would you say Scott Pilgrim is a video game movie? Uh, 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 I, I, elements. Was it based on a video game or? It was based on a graphic book? novel, but there's so yeah. many video game references. In, and they did make the a video, but that's not, I don't think that's a video game movie. Um, you know, I, they did make a Scott Pilgrim video game. Um, yeah. and it was based after a comic and it was like a video game, but like, I don't, you know, that's kind of seems like was ready player one, a video game movie, right? Yeah. It's based on VR, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. There's our thoughts on Sonic two. Uh, sounds like hopefully maybe fingers crossed there's a trilogy and we're going to have a trilogy of Sonic movies. Yeah. It deserves it guys. I think it's rare for a sequel to, of all things, a video game movie to actually be good. And we all think, mm -hmm. you know what? This yeah. was an actually pretty good sequel coming off the heels of that first one. So, again, uh, we are Media Vania. If you have liked what you've heard, please like and subscribe. I, I'm Marty. I'm Matt. I'm Nick. And we'll catch you next time on Media Vania. <laughs> <laughs>